bloody fantastic. Hello everybody, my name is Goodboy and welcome to the Dota 2 Counter Picking Guides. This is where we look at a specific hero and see who they counter, but also who counters them. In general, Shadow Shaman is very strong against Kite Easy Heroes, Escape Heroes, and Invisible Heroes in the right circumstances. On the other hand, Illusion Heroes, Silence Heroes, and Range Physical Damage will do the guy in. So in terms of Kite Easy Heroes, the big thing that Shadow Shaman can do is disable very effectively for long durations. This gives the uh, your allies work in conjunction with Shadow Shaman, plenty of opportunity to kill those particular targets. If you need to right click him, Shadow Shaman will keep you disabled for a long duration. Escape heroes have a similar problem in the sense that because he decides to um, turn you into a chicken or just shackle you for a billion years, which gets even worse as he levels up with his talent tree, it can be very, very good at preventing any escape heroes getting away for any, uh, any duration. And then finally, Invisible Heroes. More of a slight one, particularly against passives, but Shackles will still remain active against the target that's decided to make themselves invisible. Or indeed, Hex will prevent them from using it before they get away. So, such a good examples are indeed Troll. Troll just loves to throw an axe or two in your face, but here's the problem. He keeps getting disabled. Good life range from Shadow Shaman. No effect. Anti-Mage can actually have some serious problems. Now, despite Anti-Mage's nuke resistance, which makes uh, Shadow Shaman's Q a challenge, the lockdown ensures that um, Anti-Mage can be very quickly easy to kill with help. And then finally, Templar. Good luck, Templar. I'm going to turn you into a chicken, and then I'm going to shackle you, just to make sure there's no way you're going to get away. So, illusion-based heroes tend to be a bit of a nightmare, mainly because um, Shadow Shaman is a single target. And yes, fine, he can take out a single target with a chicken and then shackle the other one, and potluck, maybe you'll get one. But nonetheless, the mass onslaught of heroes is just going to kick him in, particularly as they do insane levels of damage. Science is another problem, mainly just because he can't use his spells, and he is completely spell-dependent. No passives whatsoever. Silence, no use. And then finally, range physical attack damage. The actual cast range of his spells is relatively short. Someone like Sniper can keep a good long distance and then pummel him to death. So Phantom Lancer is first to the party. And what a complete cancerous nightmare he is. Mass illusions. Very, very difficult to remove them all. Very, very quick to beat him down savagely. Silencer is a similar problem. Really messes him up, particularly in a team fight scenario, as Silencer tends to do. But while that's happening, you can't use any defensive snakes, no shackles, no nothing. Very, very good counter. And then finally, Sniper just keeps a good little distance. He keeps popping off at the guy. Bam, 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 bam. And then he dies. So, yeah. So counter items work mainly. The, the, the best one, to be honest, is, is um, probably going to be BKB. Um, this, this makes three of the four abilities that Shadow Shaman has obsolete. Um, Orchid can work pretty well in the sense that if you're concerned you need it to deal with him but to be honest Orchid would be a very weird item to get just to deal with Shadow Shaman. If you've got it anyway because you're building it for other enemy heroes, great. And then finally Crimson Guard. Obviously those snakes do a huge amount of physical damage and that can be the difference between life and death in a, crim in a situation with lots of these stupid little mass serpents. So generally in the laning phase, the big thing you want to take into account against Shadow Shaman is your positioning. Ensure that he does not shackle you. He will or turn you into chicken. He is very, very easy to capitalize and kill us, particularly with a hero like Ursa. That being said, of course, he is squishy, so he's still killable. In teamfight, once again, it's a question of where the hell Shadow Shaman is. Remember, that can go pretty sour pretty fast. One becomes a chicken, one gets shackled, out come his snake wards. But again, if you position him or bait him out or move away from those snake wards and when he positions them, you can catch him out and kill him.